If you've been following my series, From Kun to Kiyama, you already know that above us lie seven heavens. The first is the one under which we live, the earthly heaven. Beyond it, there are six others, each vastly different in their properties. But one quality stands out most clearly, their size. The second heaven is so immense that, if you were to compare it to our earthly sky, our entire sky would appear no larger than a ring lying in the middle of a vast desert. The same scale applies upward. The second heaven becomes a mere ring compared to the third, the third to the fourth, and so on, until you reach the seventh heaven, whose magnitude surpasses all the six below it. Now, why does this size matter? You know about gravity, the force that holds us together. According to the theory of relativity, gravity is caused by the curvature of space and time. The greater the mass of an object, the deeper its curvature, and the stronger its gravitational pull. The sun, for example, is massive and exerts such strong gravity that every planet in our solar system revolves around it. Now apply this principle to the seven heavens. The seventh heaven, being the greatest and heaviest of all, could be the central force around which the six lower heavens revolve, drawn by its immense gravitational presence.